hi guys welcome back to the channel and welcome you to my new amazing tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a crypto converter using html css and javascript and the for real time data we are going to use the gemini api so here you can see that we are going to use api key for our project to get the real time data to convert our cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum to usd and euros and many other currencies so this is not a normal crypto converter this project we have built using api and the api will provide us the real time data so i'll show you how my project will work so if you search on google on bitcoin equal to how much euro right so it's now five nine four nine one so fifty nine thousand four hundred ninety one so when i'll refresh it see its value changed four two eight the last three digit you focus on last three digit right it four two eight so again i'll refresh 442 so it's every second the bitcoin price is increasing decreasing so it's fluctuating with the time so here is the graph of the bitcoin the price changing every time it is showing so so that data we will here also we will get so i'll convert the bitcoin to euro so whenever i click on convert so here it will show one bitcoin equal to this much euro so when i click on again so it's 509 right when i click again it's 500 focus on last three digit so when i again click 492 so its price is decreasing sometime it is increasing so the real data we are getting from this api the google gemini api so this api provide us the real time data that we can use to convert our crypto to any currency like usd and euro so this is our project we are going to build using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and API key. So here I will show you one more. So here 1 Ethereum to USD. So now we will select the cryptocurrency Ethereum to USD. Right. So we will select USD. So every time it will get the different data here is 3179 so 1 ethereum equal to 3179 3, so it's 3179 and here also 3179 the real data we are getting here from the google gemini api and here i'll show you one more thing so when i click on 10 ethereum equal to how much usd so here in down it's showing the one ethereum equal to this much usd and 10 ethereum equal to this much so it's showing the two results one result for the one cryptocurrency equal to how much usd right and one for the inter amount like 10 or 19 if i'll write 19 Ethereum so we will get this much USD and 1 Ethereum equal to this much USD so so when I click on convert button it's showing a converting loading you can see a loading a loader is showing before result shown so these things we are going to build using HTML CSS javascript and for the real time data we are going to use google gemini api so how to get google gemini api 
सो सर्च ऑन जेमनी ए पी आई की राइट वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस फर्स्ट लिंक आई विल शो यू सो गेट ए पी आई की इन गूगल ए आई स्टूडियो सो क्लिक हियर नाउ वील गेट ए गेट ए पी आई की सो क्लिक हियर क्रिएट न्यू ए पी आई की सो सो इट्स क्रिएटिंग क्रिएट ए ए पी आई की इन न्यू प्रोजेक्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड वी विल गेट एन ए पी आई की सो आफ्टर दिस गेटिंग ए पी आई वी कैन पेस्ट इट इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट सो कॉपी दिस ए पी आई की एंड पेस्ट इट इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट आई विल शो यू वाई आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द कोड सो नाउ कॉम फॉर आवर वी एस कोड सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड आवर क्रिप्टो कन्वर्टर यूजिंग एच टी एम एल सी एस एस एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो वी विल सी नाउ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील गो विद द एच टी एम एल फाइल इन एच टी एम एल फाइल वी हैव रिटर्न द टाइटल क्रिप्टो कन्वर्टर विच यू कैन सी एव एंड देन वी हैव लिंक्ड द फॉन्ट आर सॉन्ग फॉर वाट सो दिस आई कैन यू कैन सी दिस दिस एक्सचेंजिंग आई कैन सो फॉर दैट एंड देन फॉन्ट फैमिली पॉप इंस वी हैव यूज फॉर आवर दिस टेक्स्ट वाट एवर इन आवर पेज देन वी हैव लिंक आवर सी एस एस फाइल सो हियर वी हैव ए स्टाइल डॉट सी एस एस फाइल दिस फाइल वी हैव लिंक हियर नाउ कॉम फॉर द बॉडी टैग इन बॉडी टैग वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए डिव विथ क्लास कन्वर्टर कंटेनर सो वी हैव ए डिव विथ दिस क्लास नेम राइट एंड इन दिस डिव आई विल शो यू सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द डिव राइट इन दिस डिव वी हैव ए वन हेडिंग क्रिप्टो कन्वर्टर एंड देन वी हैव ए वन इनपुट टैग एंड वन मोर इनपुट टैग ए फॉर ऑप्शन सो दिस ऑप्शन वी हैव फॉर सेलेक्टिंग द क्रिप्टो करेंसीज देन हियर वी हैव ए इनपुट बटन बट इट इज डिसेबल एंड देन वी हैव ए अनदर सेलेक्टर फॉर द करेंसी सो इन आवर डी वी हैव ए क्रिप्टो कन्वर्टर हेडिंग एंड बिफोर दैट वी हैव ए आईकन राइट एक्सचेंज आईकन सो दिस एक्सचेंज आईकन वी हैव बिफोर द हेडिंग राइट देन we have created one more div and in this div we have a class name input group so in this we are going to group our inputs so in input type number and place holder enter amount so i'll refresh it so here you can see that the enter amount and in this input button we can enter our amount then we have a select with the id crypto and we have a three options and we can add more option as we want so we have a bitcoin ethereum bitcoin so here you can select from here then come for another div with the class input group we have a input type number and that is converted amount we have id that amount will be so whatever here we are typing right so here con two bitcoin equal to how much usd that amount will be shown here converted amount so you can see that 12725.96 that amount is showing there and that input is disabled right we can't change here you can see that i i am unable to change but here input was i can change right and here i can't change it. so it is disabled because we don't want to change it this is our result that we have got from the api then we can select in what currency we want to convert the crypto 
so we can see that usd euro gbp we can add more currencies to it and we have a in this id fed this id we will leave in javascript we will see further and we have a button convert so with the id convert button you can see that a button right then we have a loading div in this initially it is none display none so it is display none it is not showing loading button but when i will click here right in convert that time you can see that converting loading is showing so see see that initially it is none right and when we are converting that time it is showing and when the result we got that time it display none it it will be hidden then we have a, a one more day for class result and id converted result and this will be display none so initially initially it is none right it is not showing one bit uh, bitcoin equal to how much usd initially it is none display none means it will not display and and our loading generating is also none display none it will not show when it will show we will write in javascript that we will see soon so first of all after html we will go for the styling so for the our universal selector we have a margin padding box sizing border box and we have a font family poppy sans sans serif then for the body tag we have a margin padding zero no need to write here we have initially defined above so display flex justify content center and align item center so why we are using this to make our body in center then height 100 bits so it will occupy the full view foot and then here we have a background linear gradient so in background we have a beautiful color gradient so for that now converter container we have a text align center padding to rem and border radius 10 pixel box shadow background color width 90 percent and maxed width 400 pixel and the color of the text so we have a this padding inside it and we have a text align center so text is in center right then we have a border radius 10 pixel so you can see that the border radius is 10 pixel then we have a box shadow and background you can see that the box shadow we have and then we have a width 90 percent and maximum width 400 pixel and then color of the text will be this color code so now for the h1 tag we have a margin bottom one array so this h1 tag the bottom here the margin is one array when i will make two array so now see the bot bottom margin so it i written in input so here button heading in heading now it's two rem right and before it was one rem so see the result the space between the heading and input for input group margin bottom one rem so for input we have a also margin bottom one rem so input type number for that we have a input type number here typing the number so for that width will be calculated as 100 percent minus 40 pixel so the input box will be this uh, width of the box minus 40 pixel so that width will be input and then padding 0.5 rem and a border radius we have then border and then we have a outline 
none so you can see and then for the select we have a width similarly as above and then we have a padding also same as above and we have border radius and we have border and outline none same style as before now for the button we have a width 100 percent so the width is 100 percent you can see that and for the amount we have a not 100 percent this is minus 40 pixel so 100 percent minus 40 pixel is the width of our inputs and for the button we have a hundred percent right then border none border radius five pixel background color and color of the text white you can see that the convert text is in white and then we have a transition background and we have a button hover then we have a icon margin right 0.5 so this icon the space between this crypto converter heading and this icon is 0.5 rem and result will be top 1 rem and font size 1.2 rem for the result class here we have seen the result class for that now come for the main part here we are going to write the main logic how our currency converter is going to work when to display what to display so first of all we have get the element by id we have selected converted button so for the button we have a id converted button so that we have selected here in a javascript and we have a added a add event listener so whenever a user will click what function will work what function will happen so for in that function we have a variable amount so that whatever the user will type amount that value will be stored here so here if user adding 54 right so that 54 value will be stored in the variable amount similarly for the crypto that crypto value will be stored so when we select the crypto bitcoin ethereum and other things so that will be stored in this crypto then the fed the fed value that is this usd euro and gpp this when we have select that selected value will be stored in this variable and then we have a api key right we have to paste your own API key you can paste your own API key here so go to this and get the API key I, I have shown you before in a starting only create API key and we can get the API key from here I, I have already created I have shown you before in the video only so we have a api url so you can paste this url to your code i'll give the source code of this project on our github you can go and check out and please don't forget to give a star on our github project so here in url we have a crypto to lowercase and that amount we are converting that will be in lowercase this and this so both are converted to lowercase right so when to show loading spinner so i have shown you when you are clicking on it a loading spinner is showing see converting so it's loading spinner is showing here below the converting button so you can see that so when to show so first of all we have some defined document dot get element by loading so i have this loading converting right so we have a id loading so we are getting that element and in display block and display none so when we have to block display block means when it will show this loading so when we are clicking on that converting button that time it will loading and it is showing 
when we got the result right when we got the result that time display will be none so when we see initially it is showing when we got the result that converting loading is disappear it's not showing so we have defined there so we are using fetch to get the data from the api then we have a response from the json so i will show you the what is json so we will going to inspect element go to the network and now click here on convert when you click on convert right here is showing ethereum to usd so here we have a one file here eth usd so ethereum usd and when i hovering on it we can see that api that api url api gemini.com v2 ticket eth usd means ethereum to usd so when i click on double click on this right it is showing something like this so this is the json file that is stored in our gemini api so this data from this we are going to take the data i will show which data we are going to take on our project so when we got that json file that i have shown now then we have a data right then data will be first of all we have created a converted amount variable that i have shown you and that converted amount that amount we have when the user will give the amount value right that we will store in this amount variable like 10 bitcoin or 11 bitcoin that amount will be multiply with this data ask so what is data ask i will show you we have a data right here in this i you can see that in below we have a ask i will zoom it and show you you have a ask right this ask so here we have a value 3182.2 right this amount we are getting here and that is multiply with this amount the when user will like 54 right that 54 will be multiply with this ask amount means 3182 so with this our amount will be multiplied right and that will be stored in a variable converted amount right we have stored in a variable now how to display so that converted amount we have a id converted amount right i'll show you here converted amount right id we have a converted amount for what so this here you can see that this is the converted amount right so that that id we are taking and in that converted amount value will be changed so here we have a input type number and it is disabled so its value will be changed so when it value will be changed with this converted amount that we have got from that data by multiplying the input user input and the data from the api and that will be two fixed two means it will show only two decimal points you can see that the two decimal points right then similarly we have a another id conversion result i will show you here we have conversion result for what here down you can see the one ethereum equal to this much usd so this result we have to show so for that we have written the the inner text here we are using value right for input here we are using inner text why because we have a div right then there we have a input right before we have a input i'll show you where it is huh so here we have a input right and here we have a div so that's why we are using inner text in div and value in input and that we have 
written in this one one means uh, here written one right so we are showing the one crypto value so here we have written the crypto right and that data ask so data ask i have shown you that data 3182 right that data will be equal to the fate fate means this whatever we selected usd euro gpd so this fate this is the fate so here you can see that the fate is usd and that ethereum is the crypto and one i have written and the data ask is 3182 right that thing we have written in the javascript it is very simple if you don't know this javascript please learn and then make project so here i have written the conversion result so the same id we have taken and we have a style dot display block so that time when we are converting our that 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 uh, when we convert our result that one ethereum equal to this much usd right that we have to display right the display will be block so it will show here i have shown you so this how it is displaying here so display block right we have this id conversion result that will be display block then it will show then i will remove it i'll show you and i'll save it and i'll go here and i'll write some amount and convert so it is not showing right it is not showing so when i do sms before and when i will write here and i will click on convert it is showing now so that's why we written the display block we have here written that how it will be taken and then then it will be displayed and that time our loading will be none so when we show the result the our loader loader will be disappear and this is the fetch right if you get any error so for that we have it catch so if you get any error the console in console we have getting the error and that time our loader will be none means display none so that time also when we'll got the error that time also our loading will be disappear so this is our project we have built using html javascript and api for the real time data so hope you guys like our project and please don't forget to subscribe our channel and share with your friend so we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you